Good morning and welcome to chapel. Please stand for the invocation and the reading. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our reading is from Philippians chapter two, beginning at the fifth verse. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. You may be seated. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you ever had one of those moments of clarity? Maybe you were looking at yourself in a mirror or maybe you were just looking into the mirror of your soul and you saw yourself as you truly are and you saw that the mind of Christ is not in you. Have you had a moment like that? I have. We try to serve others, we try to live in humility, but too often we fail. Our sinful human nature is at work in us, and so though we are not in the form of God, we consider equality with God something to be grasped. We seize every little bit of power that we can get our hands on and try to use it to puff ourselves up and lord it over others. We insult others. We put them down, either to their faces or behind their backs, as a way of showing that we are higher and they are lower. We discover small details, little precisions that we consider important, and we're doing them right, other people are doing them wrong, so we're better than those other people. We can think more highly of ourselves. I have seen it, I have done it myself. Sometimes we don't prepare our homework, or we don't prepare it well, thinking well, that's my business, that's no one else's business, when in fact we're slowing down the learning of others, we're depriving them of the learning they would have gotten from us. We have all kinds of opportunities to serve others, here in the CUW community, and the community at large, throughout the U.S. and throughout the world. But far too often we find ourselves playing video games or watching TV or doing something we find more fun rather than serving others. We pass up opportunities to talk with others about Jesus Christ and speak the gospel to them because we are ashamed of him. We're afraid that others might think less of us or insult us. And that concern is our greatest concern. There are even times when we judge God and think that we're right and he's wrong. And because of these sins and many others, we deserve to be mocked and beaten and crucified. We deserve to die and to go to hell. But thank God that Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not consider equality something to be grasped. Thank God that Jesus emptied himself taking on the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Thank God that Jesus humbled himself by being obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. We can only imagine what it was for the God of the universe to become a lowly human being and to set aside his divine prerogatives. 
We can only imagine what it was for Jesus to be executed like a common criminal. We can only imagine the pain and the suffering and the shame. But because Jesus did this, God exalted him highly and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Our text exhorts us to have the mind of Christ, and we try. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we make some progress. At the same time, our text shows us what Christ has done for us. It shows us that he has done what we could not possibly do for ourselves. And the very fabric of the Christian life consists in basking in the love of Jesus and receiving his grace, his gifts that he has won for us. And now is the time to do exactly that. Tomorrow, Monday, Thursday, be with Jesus. Be with Jesus and you will see the God of the universe washing the feet of his disciples. Be with Jesus and you will see your Lord and Savior giving to you his body and his blood, real food, to forgive your sins, to give you salvation to strengthen your faith. And on the next day, the Friday we call good, be with Jesus. And you will see the Savior of the universe mocked and spat upon, beaten and crucified. You will see him hanging on the cross and you will hear him say, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus will bear the sins of the world and will take them away. And know this, he is doing it for you, to save you. And then, then there is Easter. Amen.